My goals for this lesson are that the students will learn more information about identical and fraternal twins. We've been studying genetics, and so they've started looking at where certain traits come from that they have. And this way, if they have friends that are identical or fraternal twins, they'll better understand where their genes came from. We'll begin with a pre-reading concept map. And what I'll do is I'll ask the students for some of their background information to activate their background information, what they already know about identical and fraternal twins. After we're finished with that, I will have them partner read a selection on twins. As they read, they will be adding to their concept map or deleting things that we find out are not correct. And then at the end of the lesson, we will actually come back together as a big group and add to our original concept map and have a discussion if we need to. Today we're going to look at twins. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to figure out what we already know about twins. And then we're going to do a reading assignment. And hopefully you're going to learn a little bit more about twins today. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a concept map, also called webbing sometimes. And I thought we'd go ahead and get started on one up here before you get started on your reading. So in the center of your paper, if you would write twins... Raise your hand if you know something about twins that you want to add to our concept map before we get started. Anybody know anything about twins? Kira. Um, identical if they look alike and fraternal, they don't. Okay. Identical. Look alike. Fraternal. don't look alike. Okay, anybody have something else they want to add that they know about twins? Jessica? Sometimes twins can be both male and female. Okay. Which type do you think that would be? Fraternal. Okay. So sometimes male and female. Anybody have anything else they want to add that they know about twins? They can be the same sex. They can be the same sex. Most of the time, those would be what? Identical. Identical. But can they also be fraternal and be the same sex? Okay, so how about if we put up here same sex? Could we connect it to both things? Like that? This is a really good start. It looks like you know quite a bit about twins to begin with. Okay. Anybody think of anything else? All right. What we're going to do this morning is we're going to do some partner reading. What I'm going to want you to do is with the person that you're sitting next to, you're going to read a selection. And what I would like you to do is have one person read one paragraph and then the, ne the other person read the next paragraph and just keep taking turns reading this selection. And as you're reading, if you, if you come across something here that's not on our concept map, I'd like you to go ahead and add it. If you happen to come across something that disproves something that we already have on our concept map, I want you to draw a line through it. Don't erase it. Don't totally scribble it out. We can just draw a line through it to show that that was something we thought was correct but through our reading, we've discovered it's not correct. Let me show you what I meant by what I want you to do with this concept map. There's a paragraph in here that I'm going to read to you, and I want you to be listening for if there's anything that we could add or if there's anything incorrect. Identical twins result from a single zygote, which is a fertilized egg, that later divides into two eggs as it grows. Because identical twins start from the same zygote, they are also referred to as monozygotic twins. A very rare subset of identical twins is conjoined twins, also known as Siamese twins. Okay, did anybody see anything in there that we could add to this? Kendall. Okay, where would we put Siamese twins? Where do we sometimes get Siamese twins? Bashan? Okay. 
sometimes Siamese twins. So this was some new information that we learned from our reading. And let's say, for example, that maybe we had found out that the share sum of the same traits was not something that was correct. What I wanted you to do with striking through is just to take and make a single line through there. That's how I want you to do that. Any questions about what I expect of you? In the center of your table, you have books. Open up to page 162 and 163. Kendall, you have a question? Um, I thought there were three types of twins. There's only two types of twins. There's fraternal and identical. What about Siamese? Okay, Siamese is a type of twin where it's identical. And in identical twins, you have one egg that's fertilized and it splits. With Siamese, it doesn't split all the way. So they're still attached. All right, we've finished doing our reading, and hopefully you've added to your concept map. Let's take a look at our original concept map that we started out with. Raise your hand if you see anything up here that you think we need to get rid of, first of all. Is there anything up here that, as you read, you found it to be incorrect? Okay, so we were pretty much on the mark. That's really good. Now, how about raising your hand if you have something you want to add? Desiree. One twin receives more blood than the other. So I'll put one twin receives more blood. John Trail? An identical. Thirty percent of twins are identical. Thirty percent are identical. Okay. But we learned a lot of information today. We already had a lot to begin with, but we learned a lot more just by reading this selection. What I found using concept maps in my class is that this is a real good way to have the students, to help the students monitor their understanding and their comprehension as they read. They're constantly having to add to it, so they're being much more conscious of the fact that they are learning new things.